Hi guys, just wanted to um, actually just give us a chance to formally introduce ourselves. My name is Jack. And I'm is, Brooke. And together we're the creators of Schaumburg Life. And we kind of wanted to go over and show you guys a little bit of the hardware and uh, all the blood, sweat, and tears that actually brought us to the end of this project. But um, now it's all about getting you guys involved and sharing our journey um, with you. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started and I'll show the inside of the heart, uh, inside where some of the hardware is inside and um, we'll go ahead and Brooke will follow up with the hardware on the outside. All right. Okay so inside we have our cable modem and router, uh, Linksys mesh network. And I ran that uh, one of the Ethernet cables into here to bring it to our PoE injector. So we provided the internet to this device, and then um, this PoE injector is actually made by Fast Cabling. So they have the this is their indoor PoE injector, and actually this is our outdoor um, PoE pass-through switch. And that is what this is providing power to. And also, shout out to True Cable. They actually came out. Uh, one of the reps, Don Schultz, came out to site to help us and um, pull new wire because the uh, original cabling had a bad kink in it. We weren't getting any uh, connection, but after we re pulled some new wire, we managed to get a great connection. This is the outdoor rated cat six cable this one is the gel filled and below there is another cat six that is also outdoor rated and that is not gel filled but either cable will work just fine also a shout out to fast cabling um, their videos online on how to set up um, a, a poe injector with their poe switch their videos actually gave me the utmost confidence to give this a shot with their product. Um, their videos were very self-explanatory, super easy to follow, and that gave me the confidence that we should be able to do it with their product. So that is why I chose fast cabling hardware um, to run these uh, PoE cameras. This is something that fit our needs for this, and uh, there's not too many out there other than um, a couple of other um, brands other than just fast cabling. All right, guys. So just want to show you the whole setup in more detail. So Jack actually came up with the whole design of this actually on paper. And then we had our contractor actually help us make this all come to life, which is so exciting because it's like my dream come true and he's amazing. So, <laughs> um, so I just kind of want to tell you a little bit about these cameras. <laughs> we have a little woodpecker up there. Um, this is the Access Communication cameras, and I bought three of them. If you're going to do something like this, I will say that they are very expensive cameras, but they are doing amazing right now. So they're actually the P1468LEs, if you want to look them up online. So we have one facing downwards towards all of the food on the bottom. And then we also have one that is up here as well, facing all of the food that is on top. Again, same camera. Um, and then if you watch our live stream, the scenes will switch every two minutes. So you'll see the bottom, you'll see the top, and then you'll see the critter cam. <laughs> and the woodpecker's trying to <laughs> be like, hey guys, <laughs> get out of here so I can eat. Um, so yeah, and then there's one screen which has all of the views and that will stay on for like 30 seconds. But so that is our bird feeder back here and then I'll kind of show you a little bit back there. I don't know. Um, I did a video. I'll, I'll, I did oh a yeah, video. the conduit runs. We're all underground, obviously. I did do a video and I have a series also on our channel of like the step-by-step -step stuff that we did. So you can view that too if you'd like. But um, yeah, so we did the conduit from the gazebo all the way down past here okay and back here the conduit you can see ran from the gazebo here 
comes up into this junction box. We have a couple cables for the camera and the microphone, and then this is the microphone cable that goes all the way to the back. I don't know if Jeff wants to go over there. And again, this is the same same cameras that we used up there. So the P1468. You can see the microphone in that way. Microphone's here. Mm -hmm. And this is our little critter camp. The and they already almost ate most of the food back here. <laughs> As usual. Alright guys, uh, well that just about sums it up. We wanted to just add a few more things here that this, uh, that we built to, is basically a, a resort for the birds and uh, we enjoy giving uh, it's all these northern climate birds and you know how difficult it is to be outside in the winter time it's it's a struggle for them so we enjoy helping the birds out here um, and, the critters. <laughs> and all the critters just keep in mind if you happen to do uh, visit our stream the three cameras will cycle every uh, two minutes like Brooke said earlier uh, but at night we lock it on to the critter cam in the back so you guys can see all everybody that shows up at midnight uh, and all throughout the we yeah. morning hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, anything else you want to add? I don't think so. I think you did a good job. All right. <laughs> well, we we'll hope to see you guys around. Uh, maybe you guys might want to encourage us to make more personable videos, even though that I don't personally have the encouragement to do it. So, <laughs> and uh, make sure you like and subscribe down below. Yeah, leave we're, us a comment. <laughs> we're trying to reach a certain milestone by the end of the year to be able to, you know, get more exposure out there. Um, so we're trying to reach that first thousand subscribers now that all that work has been done and uh we're gonna try to keep the uh, bird feeder and the critters extremely happy here uh every they are treated with white gloves honestly <laughs> the way we've been uh, providing their food and cleaning their feeders uh so it's it's a it's a fun journey for us and we wanted to share that with you guys so thanks again um that's what is it now sunday yes. october 14th fifth? October 14th? No, no it's not the 15th. 15th. <laughs> it's the 15th, yeah. Um, and we're going to go into uh, much colder, cold and the, the leaves are all going to be changing. And we're kind of starting to. And we're looking forward, at least I'm looking forward to spring already. I don't want to go through this winter, to be honest we with you. I never want to go through winter. Yeah. But... All right, guys. Well, you guys have a good one. Take it easy.